What did we learn about seismology and earthquake preparedness from the Loma Prieta earthquake? It was a big earthquake, but it was a fair distance away from San Francisco and Oakland, 60 miles to the south. Yet it did a lot of damage up here in the Bay Area with collapsed buildings, a collapsed Nimitz freeway. So it was surprising that so much damage was done so far away from a big earthquake. So we have to recognize that if we have another earthquake of magnitude 7 up here, then we might expect to see significantly more damage. Would an earthquake early warning system have made a difference? If we had a warning system, we would have had about 20 seconds of warning. And that's a lot of time for individuals to take cover uh, under a sturdy table or something like that. In the Northridge earthquake, about 50% of the injuries were caused by things falling off shelves, lighting fixtures, and things like that. So with just a few seconds warning to take cover under a sturdy desk, you can significantly reduce the number of injuries. So that's the difference that it would have made 25 years ago. What should we be doing to prepare? As a society, we have to continue to build good buildings, in retrofit the older buildings, have infrastructure that is not going to collapse during the next earthquake. Um, and then we need to add new technologies as they become available, like earthquake early warning. As an individual, we have to be responsible for our own environment. We need an emergency plan, we need a kit, we need supplies so that we'll be able to look after ourselves and the people around us after an earthquake. And we also need to look at the buildings that we live in and that we work in, understand whether they are earthquake safe, and take steps to try and improve their safety in the coming years. What are the most common myths about earthquakes? So there are two things that people always get confused about. The first is what to do in an earthquake, and the answer is you get under a sturdy table. You don't run into a door frame. And then the second one, of course, is animals and animals predicting earthquakes. And there is no real evidence of animals successfully predicting earthquakes. Often they feel the very beginnings of the shaking, um, and that's what they react to. And in fact, that is exactly what our earthquake early warning system does. What's the role of the Berkeley Seismology Lab? The Berkeley Seismolab is engaged in fundamental research, first of all, to understand the earthquake process and its effects. But also what I'm very excited about is our education component, both educating our graduate students, the future earthquake professionals, but also the undergraduate population, a large cross-section of whom take our earthquake classes, and they are going to go out into the state and take leadership roles for agencies and companies, and they're going to take with them an understanding of the earthquake threat and be able to better protect their institutions in the future. Are we taking the risk of earthquakes seriously enough? We need to understand that there is a big earthquake coming, and it could be this afternoon, but it could also be a few years from now. So we have to be ready, and we have to take the time we have to be better prepared.